Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today I'm going to show you how to get this Kim Kardashian inspired dewy makeup look. I love how she wears her makeup all the time. It always looks beautiful. I love to contour and I love this dewy fresh look she's been going for lately, so I wanted to recreate it for you. I really hope you enjoy this video. Please give it a thumbs up. I'd love to get this video to over a thousand likes and subscribe to my channel for a new video every single Monday. Okay, let's get started. Before I put any of my products on, I want to make sure that my pores are concealed, so I'm using the Benefit Professional, putting this on my nose, my cheeks, and anywhere where you can see some visible pores. Next, I'm taking Fix Plus and I'm spraying a little bit on my fingertips, and then I'm placing this on the areas of my face that I want to have more moisture and look dewy. I'm avoiding my T-zone because I don't want to look oily, but I'm putting this on my cheeks and you can see it gives a nice subtle glow. Next up is this BB Cream by Gerard Cosmetics. This makes your skin look really shiny and glowy and it's extreme, like it's a very, very intense product. So I like to use this under my foundation. I put it above my eyebrows, on my cheekbones, and down my nose. You can see my face looks so, so shiny and even greasy. But once I put foundation over and concealer, it's going to look amazing. I have lots of different little spots and some scarring and different little imperfections on my face and I used to cake up my foundation so that I could hide these things but then I found out about color correction. I use a green concealer to correct all of the redness in my skin and then that way I can use a really light foundation. Here I'm using MAC Face and Body Foundation. This is like a tinted moisturizer but because I use that color correcting concealer I don't have to worry about caking up my foundation to cover anything up. Of course, it's all up to you how much coverage you want. When I'm finished with this makeup look, you're still going to see my skin showing through, which I like. I like to see a little bit of the freckles and just a few imperfections. That way it looks nice and natural and fresh. Okay, let's keep it moving. This is one of my favorite parts. I love using concealer. I don't know why, it's just like my favorite step in my makeup application. Tell me what your favorite part is below. For me, it's like either concealer or mascara. I'm taking this concealer MAC Pro Longwear in NC20 and I'm putting this in all the places that I want to highlight. And then I'm blending all of that out with my fingers and I find that I get a really nice, soft, diffused look to my concealer when I use my fingers. I haven't been doing this for a long time but I just started recently and I like that it keeps all of the coverage there and it gives me some nice, easy and quick blending. And for under the eyes, I just take a clean 217 blending brush. You could use your fingers or you could use a brush if you want to keep the coverage nice and soft and that way I don't mess up any of the eyeshadow I have underneath my eyes. So you can see the skin is still really nice and dewy. I'm going to take a pressed powder and this is a pro powder by MAC, it's called Emphasize. It's got some nice shimmer in it but not glitter, it just really reflects the light nicely while absorbing oil. So I'm going to put this in my T-zone in any of the places I don't want to look really greasy but you can still see it doesn't look powdery and it's still nice and fresh. Now we all know Kim made contouring so famous, it looks amazing. I have an extreme contouring tutorial that you should check out if you're interested in learning how to contour your face like Kim. I'm going to keep this nice and light because she's been wearing hardly any contour lately. Uh, just a little bit on her temples and a little bit under her cheekbones but nothing too dramatic. So I'm taking my bronzer and I'm just putting this on my cheekbones and temples. And then to set my highlight, I'm using Soft and Gentle by MAC, you can use whatever shimmer shimmery eyeshadow or shimmery highlight that you like. To complete the entire look, I'm using a blush. This one's by NARS. It's called Outlaw. And that completes the makeup look. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and if you want to see how I completed the lips and the eyes, check out my Kylie Jenner inspired makeup tutorial. I'll link that video below along with the products that I used, and I'll link my Kim Kardashian extreme contouring video. You can check that out, and until next Monday, thank you so much for watching. I love you. Bye!